Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons. Make sure to subscribe. And yeah, we are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers until the end of the year. So help me out there. And let's get to the video. So today, as you see on the screen, we have the Yak41 obviously. And also the overlay program called War Thunder Real-Time Information. This program will help us actually take a look on the performance of the Yak. A little bit better i plan to do videos like this with all the new aircraft but uh, also with the mig 29 talking a little bit about the new flight model kind of changes that they got not only that but still so let's take off this thing let's taxi around a little bit let's go for the number three Close at the canopy there. No, close the canopy. Retail mode. Flaps take off. And as you see uh, on the power screen on the left side there, we have the three engines producing power. Of course, the two ones close to the pilot and then the rear one so let's pull the engine up a little bit more power and we are airborne let's take the the, the gear up as you see, we are producing about 180 kilonewtons to make this thing fly. So yeah, it produces, it needs to produce a lot of power. Let's put it on 50% to get some speed. And then we do this, flaps up and we are off. So as you see, both of the front engines are turned it off right, right now. So this is a cool addition that you actually can see that the engines turned it off when you are on a kind of situation like this after you take off uh, when everything is running. Then it is producing about 100 kilonewtons of power. But obviously the more um, speed that we get, the more power you can produce, especially in the afterburner. So as you see... <laughs> Already producing 190 kilonewtons of power. It is a lot of power, man. This aircraft is strong. After Mach 1, it kind of reduces a little bit, as you see. Uh, because of the Mach. Um, because the, the, because of the, uh, uh, the, the, the sound barrier, basically. Making the engine basically consume less air. So... Yeah, as you see, it is a very strong engine and a very strong, I mean, 190 kilonewtons. Let's see the climb rate of this thing. On a vertical kind of situation like this, 90 degrees, 270. I think if we are a little bit lighter, it could go higher than that. So let's avoid these missiles. This will help a little bit. Let's use the ammo as well to make it lighter. Obviously we have a lot of fuel, but still. I wanted to actually make it so that it's the most amount of climb. So heavily loaded, it is around um, 280 meters if you actually go into a zoom climb, right? And if you go, we are a little bit faster, but uh, let's see a little bit lighter as well. How it is performed, 90 degrees kind of. So 290 meters per second. It just maintains it, man. Look at that. Holy mother. This aircraft is so strong. And it produces so much power. It's not even a joke, man. As you see, it is consuming not a lot of fuel, man, even. Uh, we are basically consuming uh, kind of the half of, for now, uh, that something like an F-14, less than half than an F-14 and probably like 
two thirds of what a MiG-29 produces uh, uses, I think. So, yeah, pretty pretty strong, man. Uh, on the top side there, you can see the AOA and the turns by degree. So let's check it out. Obviously, we are kind of compressed over here. Let me take the speed a little bit off. Yeah, you can't pull some AOA, man. 25 degrees. Let's try again. Yeah, 25, de 25 degrees seems like a normal AOA that you can pull. It's a lot of AOA. It's pulling more AOA than the MiG-29. And uh, I think than the F-16 as well. Um, the turn, as you see, around 25 degrees per second. But it loses a lot of speed as well doing it. So you do need to be careful. And the G's, let's take some speed again. Hold up, a little bit of speed. 11 G's, not too, many, too much on the 800. Let's go a little bit faster. Like a thousand. Then you can pull 12. I mean, we are pretty heavy. Uh, let me go uh, with the minimal fuel load if we can actually pull a little bit more. And here we go, oh my god. Here we are, kind of a more quicker kind of situation of takeoff here. Uh, but let's see how much I can turn with minimal fuel. Uh, I turned it off the consumption of the fuel, obviously. Let's get some speed, 850, let's see. 11 something, but it goes down to like 7 because we are getting slower. Let's see, like a, a thousand. Yeah, like 13, 14 Gs. And then it goes lower. That's the thing, man. Uh, this aircraft doesn't actually like limits the amount of turning that you do. You just turn, so you lose a lot of energy, but you can turn better than most of these aircraft, like the F-16 and others. Uh, so, yeah, it is a very interesting aircraft, man. It is so strong. Let's see the climb rate. Uh, let's get some speed. Like Mach 1.5, Here it's fine. Two hundred and eighty. We are still gaining speed. Oh my god! Look at that thing. We are accelerating, going upwards. Jesus Christ! This aircraft is so good, man. So three hundred. Yeah, it's difficult to go past beyond that. And yeah, just an amazing aircraft. I will do some dogfights videos with these, just to show to you guys. But as you see, the number to go for is 190 kilonewtons, uh, 14 Gs if you are with minimal fuel, but normally it's like 12, 11. It does tend to lose a lot of speed uh, while turning, as you see, it doesn't have a like a, a limit to it, so be aware of that. And I don't think you can actually break it, it's just too strong. I mean, look at this. Yeah, it's just too strong, uh, so yeah, it, this aircraft, I don't know if it's finished or not, but it is indeed a mighty, mighty aircraft, one of the best in the game. Hopefully the radar is fixed it, so, and yeah, it's going to be perfect. Amazing, amazing. It, I was not expecting this aircraft to be this good, so yeah, we will have to wait, they might just... Look at this turn rate, man. Oh my god, it's so good. Uh, but yeah, it's it's scary. It's scary of how good is it, it is But anyway, I hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and I see you guys on the next one Okay, let me know in the comments what you think about the yak. Is it OP or is it not? I uh, see you guys on the next one. Okay. Bye. See you